Can black coffee affect your cholesterol levels? If you're concerned about the fat and sugar content of coffee flavorings and sweeteners, you may have switched to drinking black coffee. Cholesterol, a waxy type of fat associated with some chronic diseases, is produced by your body and increases through the foods and beverages you consume. The caffeine found in coffee may affect cholesterol levels, but the link between these substances appears to be complicated. Why your cholesterol levels are important Cholesterol tends to have a negative association, however, cholesterol isn't inherently good or bad. This naturally occurring substance keeps you healthy, reports the American Heart Association. But when cholesterol accumulates in your bloodstream, your risk of a blockage increases and can lead to a heart attack or stroke. There are two types of cholesterol, high-density lipoproteins or HDL and low-density lipoproteins or LDL. Harvard School of Public Health explains that LDL or bad cholesterol accumulates in your arteries. In contrast HDL or good cholesterol transports cholesterol out of the body, preventing accumulation. Coffee, Caffeine, and Cholesterol Caffeine is commonly associated with coffee, however, coffee contains several other substances that can affect cholesterol levels. An article in Current Opinion in Lipidology explains that diterpenes, substances that appear in coffee made by boiling beans or grounds, are associated with increased cholesterol levels. The researchers suggest that boiling, rather than filtering coffee, allows these substances into the beverage and can increase your risk of cardiovascular problems. In contrast, Dr. Rod Van Dam of the Harvard School of Public Health explains that consumption of as many as six cups of coffee daily has not been found to increase your risk of cardiovascular disease. He adds that drinking filtered coffee can help remove the chemicals that can raise LDL cholesterol levels. Caffeine and Cardiovascular Disease Caffeine is a natural stimulant that affects your nervous system and can cause adverse effects such as anxiety and insomnia. The American Heart Association explains that while caffeine can increase the work of your kidneys and increases your heart rate temporarily, consuming moderate amounts doesn't appear to be associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. In fact, according to Harvard Medical School, decaffeinated coffee has been found to be associated with increased cholesterol. This effect may be related to the differences in beans used to make caffeinated versus decaffeinated coffee. Considerations Research has not shown a direct link between black coffee consumption and increased cholesterol. Coffee consumed in moderate amounts of 1 to 2 cups a day does not appear to contribute to chronic illness, according to the American Heart Association. Eliminating certain additives such as cream, milk or sugar from coffee reduces saturated fat that can raise cholesterol levels. Coffee is also a source of antioxidant compounds that can remove harmful free radicals from your body and provide protection from cardiovascular disease. Why is high cholesterol bad for the body? Although the body needs cholesterol to function, and it occurs naturally in every cell of the body, too much cholesterol can build up in the coronary arteries and increase the risk of heart disease. Cholesterol itself is not inherently bad. Rather, it's excess cholesterol that can cause problems in some people. Determine your level of cholesterol with a blood test and lower it naturally by eating more fruits, vegetables and fiber and by exercising more. Prescription medications also lower blood cholesterol levels. Function Dietary cholesterol comes from animal-derived food, although your body also makes it. Total cholesterol consists of HDL, LDL and triglycerides, which represent the major form of fat in food and also the main storage form of fat in the body. LDL and HDL transport cholesterol to and from the cells, where it is used to strengthen cell membranes and make hormones and vitamin D. Good cholesterol. High density lipoprotein, called HDL or good cholesterol, picks up cholesterol from the cells and transports it back to the liver for recycling or waste removal. Good refers not to the kind of cholesterol, but to the fact that this transport vehicle takes cholesterol out of circulation. So higher HDL number means better cholesterol control and protection for the heart, according to Eleanor Whitney and Sharon Rolfs in Understanding Nutrition. Bad Cholesterol Low Density Lipoprotein, called LDL or bad cholesterol, carries cholesterol to every cell in the body. For potential use in cell membranes or for making hormones and vitamin D. The cells take only what they need, so high levels of LDL can result in deposits of excess cholesterol in the arteries, causing restricted blood flow. Eventually, a blood clot may block a narrowed artery and result in a heart attack or stroke. A lower LDL number means better health. 
Testing. Two types of blood tests detect cholesterol. The most common is a quick screening with a finger prick procedure that only provides the total amount of cholesterol in the blood. According to the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute, total cholesterol is in milligrams per deciliter. Below 200 is desirable, 200 to 239 is borderline high and above 240 is high. If total cholesterol is high, follow up with a complete lipid blood panel test that a doctor orders. The lipid blood panel requires fasting for 12 hours and a blood draw to detect the amount of HDL, LDL and triglycerides in addition to total cholesterol. For LDL, below 100 is optimal, 100 to 129 is near optimal, 130 to 159 is borderline high, 160 to 189 is high, and above 190 is very high. For HDL, below 40 is low and above 60 is desirable. Tips Test cholesterol levels every 5 years as an adult because high cholesterol can occur even without symptoms. As a memory aid, the first letter in HDL and LDL can stand for healthy and less healthy. For better health, keep the healthy one high and the less healthy one low.